most people would be doing. Oh, for sure. Um, and a lot of people wouldn't have the... Uh, there goes the There is the glass. <laughs> Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Behind me, we have something really, really cool. So we have Alex spooling up performance. This is his RX-8, and this thing is really, really sick. Let me tell you why. All right, so check this thing out. 2004 RX-8, and it is gutted. Look at that, there's nothing in there. He is gonna do a turbo LS swap, and I mean a massive turbo. What size were you thinking about? Uh, it's either gonna be an 80 or an 88 mil. Uh, probably gonna go, probably gonna try 80 first, um, cause I think it'll be more than enough right. to get you where I need you. Yeah, so he's he's thinking about doing like a, a complete like tubular front end and the same at the rear, doing like a four three link or something like that in the rear. Yeah, four, probably four link, uh, with like a Ford, yes, Ford, eight eight or nine inch rear. Uh, we're trying to figure that out right now. Yep. And this is going to be a purpose-built, pretty much, race car for the drag strip. And uh, he's going to cage it up eventually, I'm sure. Um, he's going to have a big, giant motor here with a giant turbo sitting here eventually. Uh, this is pretty cool. He bought this car for like 500 bucks, and then he yeah. sold the engine, and it, it virtually paid for yeah, you the, know, the rolling itself, chassis. The engine itself paid for the purchase of the car itself. Yeah. And, you know, like, all the interior stuff, little bits here and there that I sold, I, you know, made my money back tenfold yep so so you guys have seen him on the channel before he has a yellow gen 5 camaro 1le <laughs> it's a little loud a little bit sounds good and this is his channel right there on his shirt spooling up performance so if you like crazy stuff like this definitely definitely i encourage you to go check him out you know, this is going to be something that's going to be all over the internet once he gets it built. And it's going to be, it's just going to dominate the racetrack, I'm sure. But this thing is crazy. He's got, uh, he's running a Kirky seat that was given to him. And that thing weighs nothing. You can pretty much pick it up with your pinky. <laughs> <laughs> so awesome, awesome. Um, so definitely I encourage, check him out, his channel. Watch the build because not a lot of people are doing stuff like this. You know, there's a lot of guys that are running LS swap the RX-8s and you know, it's really cool. You know, the main reason why I picked this car is because of how light it is. Yeah. It's the weight is going to be nuts. Like the weight, the power to weight ratio is going to be insane. But a lot of them, you know, they, they tie in every factory system to run with like the LS swap. And most of them are just dropping, uh, you know, LS ones with T56s out of like a rec Camaro or something right. like that. Um, but you know, I didn't want to be like everybody else. Um, I kind of wanted to take this to like the next level. Yep. Um, and it's starting to get, you know, kind of out of control with what's happening to it versus what I was going to try to do with it in the beginning. Um, but every piece of wiring in this car is gone. Uh, the, the thing is stripped down bare bones. There is pretty much no factory, uh, anything besides the, the plastic dash and the steering column. Um, and yeah, we're going to go full send on this thing and, oh yeah and hope you know like you know we're trying to come out swinging and kind of impress a lot of people and see what you can do for very little amount of money yeah so th that's a, the good thing is this is kind of a budget build more or less yeah absolutely so what i like most about this is he's doing it in his garage which kind of just he, he's really showing his fans that you can do something like this and uh you know any any guy with like basic mechanic well i don't want to know you're a little bit more advanced than like your basic mechanic yeah but you know what like that all starts with just like figuring it out yourself. You know, I get a lot of people that are like, you know, I don't know if I can do something like that. You know, all it takes is picking up one of these. Right. You know what I mean? And you know, I learned everything I know now, you know, hey, yeah, secondhand knowledge from people, but really just kind of digging into it yourself and figuring it out. So you guys watching, what he's doing is, uh, he's not gonna reuse any of this. So he just- Break everything. Break it out of there, who cares? And doing something like this is the best way to do it because you're taking out every little bit and piece of the car like you're figuring out how to do things how to make things work where things go so you know i've never done anything to this magnitude so like yeah, this is all learning learning game for me too and you know i'm gonna learn a lot in the process but in the end 
you know, I'll know how to do it and know what it takes to get it done. You know what I'm saying? Yep. And you can translate that onto the channel, show people how to do it as well. It's, it's pretty cool. So got some 243 heads. Uh, they're going to be the best to use for like a, like a boost setup. Right. So I got these used and they're in great shape. They're obviously going to be gone through and cleaned up and probably ported a little valve job, stuff like that. Yeah. And, uh, I got lifted or new springs and retainers and all that stuff to go in there. Uh, and then I got, you know, all brand new pistons and rods, already pre gapped rings, um, king main and rod bearings, ARP main studs, uh, mall rings. Uh, and then I got the uh, a freshly machined and balanced crank right here, ready to go. Oh, yeah. And I actually had a subscriber give me a block. For free. What? So I gotta go pick it up. It's in Nashville. What? So I gotta, yeah, it's a Gen 4 5 3 iron block. Um, good to go. Um, obviously, I'll get that machined with the rest of the parts, but yeah, yeah, got a block for free. So really, I have almost the whole engine. Like I said, I'm just waiting on a spec cam and uh, some other miscellaneous things. That's really cool to have, you know, some of your fans, your subscribers actually like give you parts. Um, that yeah. is really, really neat. Yeah, I mean, even these, even these heads, like, Guy knew me and was getting rid of some stuff on his build. I mean, I picked up the heads and that brand new BTR valve spring kit for four hundred bucks. So yeah, yeah, that's crazy. This all the all the pistons and internals I got those from a subscriber for two fifty. Yeah. So like those were all brand new parts and like obviously not cheap. So you know everything's everything's in there ready to go. You know now I'm just waiting on picking up that block and sending everything over to the machine shop. And uh, get that thing built. Oh yeah, this gonna be awesome. Hell yeah, I really Absolutely. like it. I'm hoping next, like next year, because the YouTube calls are usually towards the end of the year. Right. Uh, so it'd be really sick to have this done and bring it out. You know, at least you know get some testing done on it and stuff. But we got a long way to go. Uh, this winter is gonna be hot and heavy. Oh yeah. Get things done. So. So definitely, definitely encourage again. You check out spooling up performance. So yeah, everything in here. There's actually, so all this black stuff here is all the sound deadening uh, in the car. You're gonna so, like scrape that up or Yeah, leave. so you can take, uh, what I've seen work is dry ice mixed with like a isopropyl alcohol. Okay. Um, put that in a bucket, like mix it up and then place it on the floor, spread it out in your area that you're using and then uh, let it sit for a little bit and then you can basically just start chipping it away. And you're gonna do like a custom dash too, right? Well, yeah, so this is a factory, um, factory dash. I took everything out behind it. I took the whole dash out, you know, heater core, all that stuff's gone. Every piece of wiring that was back there, all gone. Basically just remounted the bar and the plastic part of the dash. And uh, we're gonna be running like a, you know, MS3 Pro um, ECU with a drop-on harness. And then I'm planning on running like a like a tablet screen yeah. type thing right oh, here. Oh, that'd be sick. Yeah, yeah. You build like a custom like ABS plastic thing in the middle for like gauges and the switches and all that stuff to turn everything on. But yeah, it'll uh, it'll be pretty gnarly, man. Like I'm pretty, I'm, I'm excited just to see like the end result, you know what I mean? Oh yeah. And like as all you guys watching know, like a car guy saying that, like the end result, like there really is never an end. It never, it never, <laughs> like, ends. It never ends. It never ends. So, I'm sure this thing will be an ongoing build for years to come. Um, but yeah, we're just trying to figure out, you know, some things as far as like a full drag setup RX-8 because like I don't, there's not many people that have done it. So the the forum, if you will, of people is very small. So it's kind of be gonna be like a pioneering my way through type thing. I like it because it's different. Yeah, it's something completely different that most people would be doing. Oh, for sure. Um, and a lot of people wouldn't have the... Uh, there goes the There is the glass. Uh, a lot of people would not have, you know, the, the balls for this, I don't think. No, and you know, like, I, you know, for the amount I picked this thing up for, and what it is, I mean, it really, it was a no brainer to me. Like why, why not try it? You know what I, mean? I want to do something like this too. Um, I don't know 
what year i mean it's gonna take some time to probably acquire a project car but you know probably like maybe an old sn you know mustang or something like that or a fox body you know and then start doing something similar one day uh, i think it would be a lot of fun and good for the channel heck yeah man all right, guys, just to also let you know, the 17th is pretty much the mass, is going to be the big subscriber meet there at Beach Bend. I'm going to link everything down below, like always, but it's going to be our first more or less YouTube call. It is actually a test and tune, a Beach Bend raceway there in Bowling Green, Kentucky, but we got a bunch of big YouTubers coming. So all of your favorite guys are definitely coming down here, and we're going to do kind of like a pre-meet on the 16th. We're still trying to hunt out the location for that, but um, yeah, definitely it's gonna be exciting. And we were gonna race my 2019 Mustang for the first time. And if you guys wanna run against my car when you're down here, hey, I'm all about it. You know, win or lose, doesn't matter to me. It's all for the fun of it. The whole interior is gone anyway, so I really don't care. There's no real purpose for me to, Yeah. as you can tell. <laughs> No. The windows are going to get pinned. I'm probably going to end up doing Lexan uh, rear quarters and rear window. Try to save some weight. Oh, I also have the, I still have the sunroof in. That's a lot of weight. Yeah, you got to take that thing out. So I'm waiting to take that out just in case, like, if I ever have to roll the car out in the driveway and do something and it, like, rains. Yeah. I have it covered. So I'm probably just going to um, basically just sheet metal it off. Yeah. And rivet it in or something. I'll leave that to the, the pros, but I'll probably end up doing it myself. But it's got the transmission sitting right over there. Yeah. I figure the trans works better when it's in the car. Yeah, definitely. You know I mean? Absolutely. So, you know, I, I can still reach the shifter and shift it myself. Yep. That's, that's right. That's, it's perfect. That's really how it moves. Under it's, you know, under its own power. <laughs> you know, I just, if you make race car noises and, you know, have a drive, drive line sit next to you, it, I mean, it'll work. I think yeah. I'm willing to try it. Yeah. So only one way to find out. Yeah. <laughs> How to make an eight second build. Yeah. Just make the noises. Just, yep. Yep. Fake it till you make it. So if you guys don't know, this is his, his main driver right here. Beautiful Camaro. We actually did a driving review. I'll link it above. Uh, it's a pretty sweet ride. He's got uh, long tube headers and all that stuff that you would uh, normally do to one of these. This is a Gen 5 1 LE. And then you've got my car right over here. Carnage as we call it. And yes, we are going to track this thing very, very soon. I can't wait. It's going to be a lot of fun. So hopefully we see all of you guys out there on the 17th at Beach Bend Raceway. Again, I'll link everything down below. But it should be a lot of fun. I'm not going to say I'm nervous or anything like that. I've, I'm really looking forward to racing this for the first time. I think it's going to be a blast. That guy in a little car. <sighs> yeah, this thing's a pain. It's got like four freaking clips on it. Guess they really want, didn't want it to go anywhere, huh? No. Yep, I'm cutting it. <laughs> 